So my feeling is that loneliness stems from placing your happiness on something or someone else. Basically, you're leaning on something or someone else to make you feel complete or full. And when that person or that thing goes away, you fall down. Quite often, if you really reflect on your life, you find that the reason you're feeling lonely is because you've placed your happiness on someone or something else. And now that person or that thing has gone away and you feel an emptiness inside of you and hence the feeling of loneliness. My guru would always advise to me, lean on your own spine. So he would tell me to lean on my own spine. He would even go to the extent of saying, don't lean on him because he says, if you lean on me and when I go away one day, you're going to fall down. Place your happiness, place your contentment on yourself, lean on your own spine, turn inward and uplift yourself and realize that everything and everyone else in your life is a gift, a wonderful gift to you. You are complete and whole as a person as it is and everyone and everything else is a bonus in your life. And if you start adapting that attitude, you'll no longer start to feel lonely because even if you're by yourself at home, traveling, wherever you may be, you always feel content as a person. Quite often when we're feeling down, it's not so easy to uplift ourselves. And sometimes we can kind of get stuck in that funkiness, funky area of the mind, and just wallow in that sorrow, uh, so to speak. One of the things that my guru used to recommend uh, to me, uh, and just even in general, anybody that asked him uh, to help them get out of a place of funkiness or feeling down, uplift somebody else so what he would say is um, you uplift yourself by uplifting someone else and that was kind of the essence of the message you uplift yourself by uplifting somebody else find a friend uplift them uh, you can uplift them by doing something nice for them something that you know they need help with or, or they need in their life but they may not have asked you but uh, you know by you offering your help and just doing it for them would make a big difference in their life. Reach out and do that for them. And as you provide them with the selfless service and uh, act of love, you uplift their spirits. And as you uplift their spirits, you uplift you. This is something that works really, really well. Something that I've done myself and continue to do whenever I'm feeling a little down or in a funky place. I'll do that. I'll find somebody that I can uplift. And then by just uplifting them, I find myself being uplifted as well. But this life, I have one life as Dandapani, and I want it to be an amazing life. So because of that, I prioritize what's important. I need to simplify my life to who and what's important in my life. Take the finite amount of energy I have each day and invest it into those things. Now I create a life that I enjoy living. The byproduct of that is happiness. So when people say to me, life is too busy, I can't simplify, no, it's you don't want to. You have the choice. Nobody's holding a gun to your head saying, you have to associate with these people and you have to do these things. No, you, you choose to do them. Like parents say to me all the time, oh, it's crazy with children. They take them to school, they got basketball, they got golfing, they've got this, they've got that. I'm like, what are you training your child to be, James Bond? James Bond's the only person I know that can do everything. <laughs> You know, why don't I just learn one thing? Learn to play the guitar. People create messy lives, complicated lives, right. and they don't need to. Another reason through uh, peer pressure, you know, social pressures of like, I want to keep up with the Joneses. Right. You know, they're doing this, so we should do this as well. I don't, I do what I feel I need to do. People say this to me all the time, you know, I hang around with entrepreneurs and other people that they've come up with Snapchat. You need to be on Snapchat. If you're not on Snapchat, your business is not going to grow. <laughs> I'm like, I don't need to be on Snapchat. I do Instagram, I do Facebook, I do a little bit of Twitter, and that's it. I don't care what comes up tomorrow, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Because I can't sustain it, right? That's gonna take a little bit more of my energy each day. And I only have this much energy and I need to divide it between all the people and things that I love. Right? Law of thermodynamic states, you cannot create or destroy energy, but you can transfer it from one thing to another or transform it from one thing to another. So I can't create more energy, I only have this much. Because come 11 o'clock tonight, I'll be exhausted and ready to sleep. So I got this much, 100%. I need to know where I'm dividing. I always tell entrepreneurs to look at energy the same way they look at money. It's a finite resource that needs to be wisely managed, wisely reallocated, and wisely invested. If you had a